periodic table looks rather odd and messy, but there's actually method in the madness. Let's take a look and decode some of the features of this very important scientific tool. The periodic table is a systematic arrangement of chemical elements. There have been many different forms of the periodic table, but the current one was published in 1861 by a Russian chemist called Dmitry Mendeleev. His table was better than its predecessors because it left gaps to account for elements that had not yet been discovered. Elements are arranged on the periodic table in order of increasing number of protons. Remember that protons are the positively charged particles that, together with neutrons, make up the nucleus in the centre of the atom. The number of protons in an atom determines what the element is. If an atom has one proton, it's hydrogen. If it has two protons, it's helium. If it has three, it's lithium, four, it's beryllium, and so on. So that's why the boxes representing elements are arranged in the order that they are. You'll notice that each box on the periodic table is numbered at the top. This number represents the number of protons in that element, and it's called the atomic number. There are other numbers and letters on the periodic table too. Let's take a closer look at these using carbon as an example. The second number in each element's box is called the mass number. This number corresponds to the element's average mass in nature, which is the mass of the protons plus the neutrons in that element. Electrons weigh so little that their mass isn't counted. The box for carbon also contains the letter C. If you're guessing that this stands for carbon, you're correct. Chemists like to use shorthand whenever they can. So instead of writing out the full name of an element, they use a symbol to represent it. Chemical symbols can be one or two letters. While carbon is C, you'll notice that cobalt is CO and copper is CU. The first letter is always a capital and the second letter, if there is one, is always lowercase. So never write capital C and capital O if you mean cobalt. To a scientist, this means carbon monoxide, one carbon and one oxygen joined together. You may have noticed that some symbols on the periodic table seem like they don't match the name of the element at all. For example, sodium symbol is Na, potassium is K, and lead is Pb. This is because some chemical symbols are based on the ancient Greek or Latin names for the element and don't match up with the English name. So sodium is called natrium in Latin, potassium is called callium, and lead, you may have a giggle at this, is plumbum in Latin. However, this system is actually useful because chemical symbols are universal and don't change depending on the language that you speak. Meanwhile, the element names, as they're spoken, often vary across different languages. So scientists in Uzbekistan, Australia and Austria will always use the symbol Na for sodium, no matter how they might say it. So that is how you interpret the letters and numbers on the periodic table. To recap, elements are arranged on the periodic table in order of increasing number of protons. The number of protons in an element is its atomic number. The mass number corresponds to the mass of the protons plus the neutrons typically found in an element. And the chemical symbol for each element is a universal symbol which contains one or two letters and is sometimes derived from the Latin or Greek names for that element.